Hi again, everyone. Welcome to the Last Mile Show. Oklahoma State and Missouri have had some crazy games over the years, and this year's meeting was no exception as the Tigers came to Stillwater and posted a 41-38 triple overtime victory over the Cowboys. My pleasure to welcome alongside the head coach at Oklahoma State, Les Miles. Your general thoughts on this game, Coach? I thought it was a, um, a competitive game, exciting for people to watch. Um, our guys uh, came in and competed, and at the end uh, fought hard. Uh, I was proud of them. Highlights of Missouri and Oklahoma State when the Les Miles Show continues after this. Stay with us. The Cowboys return to Big 12 Conference action in Stillwater against the Missouri Tigers on a beautiful Saturday night for football. There's the walk, taking the Cowboys toward Lewis Field, Coach. Yeah, the, the uh, crowd was there, and, and uh, obviously the 76 team showed up, and we were, they spoke to our team uh, pregame and uh, did a great job, and uh, I think the team was ready to go out and play hard. Uh, going, jumping out 14-0 uh, may have been uh, uh, an example of that. Missouri offensively early could not get much going. Your defense, as it's done throughout the course of this season, played very well early last year. Defense played well, and um, I really felt like this, the start of this game was really just uh, how we would have scripted it. We and defense it, stopping them, then the, the punt, um, uh, they mishandle a snap. We get a short field and go down and get seven. It was, again, exactly how we had liked to have started this game. Yet another big play by your special team sets the table for your offense to get your first touchdown. Nice draw that? by Tatum. Tatum's running hard. Cowboys continue their drive headed toward the end zone. Big third down conversion here to T.D. Bryant. T.D. catches that ball very well. Makes a nice nice uh, reception and a third down. That's, that interference call set up the, the uh, touchdown. Cowboys have a first and goal opportunity and on third and goal, Tatum Bell reaches the end zone, just runs behind the pile for nice, six. Nice block by the line and uh, it's just what we needed to have happen. Point after attempt, Cowboys take the lead in the first quarter. 7-0. We move ahead in this game to the second quarter. Big third down play here, a play that worked a couple of times, the old shovel to Tatum Bell. That uh, set it up well, uh, good timing on the call. John Lewis makes this reception and this drive continues. The Cowboys on their way to a 68-yard drive and boy, he had a couple big third down conversions including this one. Short yardage, uh, Tatum squirts up in there and gets his uh, big yards, keep the drive alive. Nice out pattern here, Pogai to Rashawn Woods, and we'll see a little bit more of that momentarily. Third and 13, and you get the touchdown. Hey, Woods showing some concentration here, Coach. Uh, Rashawn's really a big performer for us, and uh, we're going to go to him uh, often throughout the remainder of the season. And uh, He makes a big play for us right there. Actually tipped the ball to himself and demonstrating why he's one of the nation's best receivers. Fifth in the nation in receptions coming into this game. 14-0 in control of the game in the second quarter, Coach. The um, um, had we uh, gone and got some more points after yeah. that 14, we'd have won this football game, and that's what we really need to focus on. Uh, they're making some plays here with screens and coming down really just before halftime. They fumble the ball and then, and then recover their fumble, and they had no turnovers in the day. They're getting the run going, nice little draw off tackle, and uh, uh, they're moving the ball down there. They, they bobble a snap, and our defense um, um, swarms all over them. Long field goal attempt by Brad Hammerick. Goes through the uprights. It's a 14-3 lead. Late in the first half as you discuss things with your team on the sideline. Missouri has his third and five with less than two minutes left. They convert it, then move on down the field for a very huge momentum swinging field goal. We, they were in a position right there to run the ball and try to get off the field. And uh, had we stopped them there, then we'd have had an opportunity to go down there and get our three. So. Instead, they make a, a number of conversions here that allows them to set up their um, really one second uh, field goal attempt, which was good. Dwayne Blakely, the tight end, number 85 for Missouri with a couple of huge receptions, but you still had a 14-6 lead at the break, Coach. Absolutely. The, the thing is, and, we, and I go back to the drive, if the offense had taken yeah. the drive in when we were 14-0 this, this, uh, this Saturday, it would been a lot more joyous. Well, you have to give a lot of credit to Missouri in the third quarter, though. They look like a different football team. Tay Jackson making a terrific they, catch there. They come out in the first play and go deep, get some momentum, and then they're starting to get the rush going, and, and they went in the end zone uh, as fast in our defense as it has had happen 
uh, this year. In fact, they moved 88 yards on this scoring drive, and I think we all knew coming in that Missouri, if their offense gets hot, they're a very capable football team moving the football, and that was the case in the third quarter. The, um, the, the, this farmer's a talented guy, has a nice soft touch on the ball, and the receivers are capable. We knew that this was going to be, you know, had the opportunity to be a very, very tight ball game. Here's another important series of events in the third quarter. Cowboys of the 14-12 lead. You have the holding call, which pins you back, and that creates can't, a problem. Can't have that holding call there. With nice first down play, ready to go, and then we get a holding and long yardage, and then now we get pressured in the pocket, and it's a sack, and it, and it, uh, which obviously turns the ball over, and, and then they start with the short field. Missouri goes right to the end zone. Justin Gage, the tall 6'4 receiver, out leaps the Cowboy defense for the touchdown. Then some trickery here on the two-point conversion gives Missouri a six-point lead, 20-14. Nice concept on that play, and they're ahead. Missouri with 14 points in about the opening seven minutes or so of the third quarter, but the Cowboys come right back. Tatum Bell, 32 carries for 117 yards on the night. Tatum's running hard. We have to have ball security in his, uh, in his game. Uh, and he's excited right there, and that's what he should be. Bell gets another carry here, converts the first down on a third and short situation, but fumbles the football away. Yes, and, and that was really a non-contact fumble. We just have to make sure that we sure up his, his uh, ball security. And Missouri, gaining confidence in this football game, takes the ball down the field again. The Tigers would score 22 unanswered third quarter points and they really got their running game going, Coach. They really did. And, and our defense was a little out of sync right there. We fumbled the ball right at the wrong time. The defense was was not uh, uh, ready for them and uh, you know the momentum had shifted. And this is a great play by Blakely. They're tied in, uh, getting an end zone on a screen pass. They go for two here, roll to give them some time and Farmer makes a nice throw in the back side of the end zone. So what'd you tell your team? You've gone from being in total control of the football game to being down two touchdowns. Well, we knew this was going to be a competitive football game, and we were, we, that's fine. It, it, we didn't have any problem with that. We're ready now to come back and win this thing. Uh, third and four also uh, 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 squirts up in there for a first down. And uh, we're, you know, we're, we're moving the football and know, in fact, that we're going to get back in this game. Boy, some huge third down conversions for the Cowboys on this early fourth quarter drive. Big completion there to Lewis for a first and goal. Yeah, if John had kept his feet, he'd have been in there on that one. I know he knows that. And, and Tim Burrow gets his first touchdown reception uh, on the goal line. It's a, it's a nice job by him and a nice throw by Osso. And we're, we're back in business. That score came with just about nine minutes left in the football game. We advanced to about the five and a half minute mark of the fourth quarter. You have to have a defensive stop to get the football back and have a chance and you got it done. This defense is playing well right now. And, and you know, this is the style of defense that we expect to see at Oklahoma State from this point forward. And now we get the ball back and it becomes a great opportunity for us to go down there and, and uh, tie the score. To the Cowboys after the punt and the return of 12 yards by T.D. Bryant have basically four minutes to get the ball down the field, and they're able to do it. Boy, Burrow really emerged in this football game, made some big plays in key situations. Tim is a, good, a quality player, and, and, and we expect to have him uh, making plays for us the remainder of the season. Nice little swing to Tatum. Third and sixth situation here, and Woods with nice effort there gets this, a big gainer. This has been a big play for us all year, and, and uh, I, I know Rashawn wishes he'd have kept his feet on that one, and it could have been longer. Nice job by Timmy. We got to get him headed north and south there. Fourth and seven. Burrow with the reception. How about this effort for the first down? The uh, um, exactly what we needed. Um, right on time. Also executed the play well, and then the uh, fade to Rashawn. Uh, you give it. You give that young man a chance to catch it. He'll make that play. And remember, that touchdown pass to Woods occurred with 25 seconds left in a fourth and seven situation. To overtime we go, and right down the field you go, Coach. Uh, we right now have um, um, Richard Schwartz in at tailback, and, and he made a really nice run there, came in and competed. We throw the naked to uh, Milosevic, and then we sneak in, and it's uh, seven points for the Cowboys. So Oklahoma State had the ball first in the overtime. As you know, both teams get the ball at the 25 for the extra period, but Coach Missouri came right back and headed toward the end zone. Throw a nice little swing, gets him down to inside the 10, and they run the counter. And the counter gets down to the three. And Zach Abram 
hustles in from three yards out, headed to another overtime, tied at 35. The Cowboys in Missouri. Missouri with the football first, and your defense is able to come up with some plays. On that play, they complete it to Justin Gage, but nowhere from there. That was an unbelievable catch by Gage. This was a great play by uh, Rickland Holmes, uh, stripping that ball out. Field goal by Brad Hamerick gives Missouri the lead, 38-35. Then Schwartz with some big carries, trying to advance the ball toward the end zone. I really wish we'd have got an end zone here. It would have been mm -hmm. the end of the game. It was really good running by Richard. He's, he's taking it straight ahead. And, uh, we come up a little short and have to kick it. We convert, tie ball game. Fourth and one at the five. Cowboys kick the field goal. Luke Phillips converts, and the score is tied at 38. So now the Cowboys get the ball first in what is the third overtime. Try to go to the end zone on the first play. Yes, uh, Rashawn's going to be a big player. and We're, we're going to give him that opportunity repeatedly. Oh, a great God. job mm -hmm. under pressure. And um, now we line up with the opportunity to take the lead in the overtime. And the kick is blocked in the interior. Comes off of our right side. And uh, they've blocked four kicks uh, in this season already. And uh, this is a, another opportunity that they had against us. So given this situation in the overtime format, Missouri's very conservative, just simply run the ball up the middle to set up their fine field goal kicker, Brad Hamrick, for the potential game-winning kick. Hamrick was three of three, make it four of four. 36-yard field goal, and Missouri prevails in triple overtime, 41 to 38. Coach, obviously a tough loss for your football team, but I'll tell you what, second half, the way the game changed, your team down by two touchdowns, but they had to fight despite all the momentum changes, to come back and get it to OT? Well, I, I appreciate the fight. In the first half, we have a chance to put it away. That's the thing we have to yeah. focus on. Secondly, we have to avoid our fumbles. Uh, we have to uh, pull together as a team to get some things fixed and then go on from here. One of the great teams in Cowboy history was back on campus this weekend. The 1976 Big 8 champion Cowboys return to Stillwater for a reunion. Tom Dorado will tell us more on our Southwestern Bell 2-Minute Drill next. Welcome back. Some 50 members of OSU's 1976 Big 8 championship team were honored before the Missouri game. Tom Dorado had a chance to take part in the reunion. Here's his report on this week's Southwestern Bell 2-Minute Drill. For Cowboy fans, 1976 was to be a glorious year, a season that ended with Oklahoma State sharing the Big 8 Conference title. What made these guys so special? Tom, they were real special because they played as one. I think, you know, the and looking back over the things that happened, the Colorado game probably welded this team together better than any one play that you could decide because they didn't come away from the game pointing the finger and says his fault or so-and-so's fault. Uh, they all looked back and saw things that they could have done better to win the game, which would have put us in the Orange Bowl at that time. But I think if they hadn't have done that, we might have lost some more games down the line. But very special group, good leadership amongst them, uh, type of players that never gave up. Has the game, have the individuals changed since you were head coach? You know, I don't think so. Football is football, whatever league you're in, wherever you are. Uh, formations have changed, philosophies have changed as far as, you know, the number of hours you work on the field. I think colleges now can work, what, 20 hours a week, which our bunch, you know, we went three days and we, and we worked sometimes 60 hours a week, as these players would well tell you. But From your perspective, so many highlights during your reign here. Was there anything that comes to mind, any particular game, any particular play? Well, you know, the Oklahoma game where Terry goes down the sideline and we come back and win the game. Uh, first time we've beaten them in, what, 30 years, and I thought that was a very special moment. Uh, every win was special because we had special players here. We had people with good mamas and daddies and people with big hearts. Jim, always good to see you. Really great to see you back for this reunion. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Tom. Good to be here. Terry Miller, we've seen a few things come and go since we first met many, many seasons ago, and uh, it's always good to see you. You just got a chance to look at back at that highlight day. What went through your mind? Well, I was certainly a lot smaller than I am right now. That was one thing, but it, it was just amazing to look at how well our defense played back then. You know, every time you looked at it, there was four or five guys around the ball, 
and uh, our offensive line blocked really well. I, you know, I looked at some of the holes there. Uh, it was, you know, in 76, it was definitely a total team effort. Things are, are looking up. The facilities projects, I think, are going to be a big draw for them. And, and Coach Miles has come in and, and given the team a new attitude. And, and uh, I think that, uh, you know, they've got things going in the right direction. And uh, now it's just a matter of playing the game. Always good to see you. Tom, it's always good to see you, TD. Mr. Turner, good to see you. I see you ba basically every other day here in town. But uh, Terry and I were talking about your role on that 76 team. And I didn't realize you were such a good runner until I looked at that highlight tape. I forgot. <laughs> it was mostly survival once you got out there. But yes, I, I really enjoyed those years playing with Terry and a lot of the teammates. We, I, take, I think this is a great occasion for us to get back together again. And I'm just uh, excited to see him again. Good to see you here tonight. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Daria, good to see you as always. Uh, you were part of something big here at Oklahoma State. Maybe at the time we didn't know it, but that was a good football team in 76. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, I, we look back, and every time I see guys or, or if someone remembers that you played back in that time, they talk about uh, how good the team was and, and what a, a team atmosphere that, that we presented there everywhere we went. I, for one, felt like the, the defensive unit that we had in 76, the one that shared the Big A championship, you could take that unit with those young legs right now, put them in today's game, and they could play. I, I, I feel that wholeheartedly. I think because I can recall back looking at, at a highlight film that they put together. Whenever you showed the ball, there was at least nine people on the ball. And I think that can be carried anywhere and succeed, you know, 10 years from now or, or, or five years from now. I see you from time to time. Always good to see you. I appreciate your visit. You bet, Tom. Same here. For Coach Jim Stanley and a group of Cowboys who wouldn't quit, 1976 will long stand out as a season of accomplishment, a season Oklahoma State reached the summit and could truly savor a view from the top. Uh, really enjoyable to meet Coach Stanley uh, this weekend. Glad that uh, that team could come back and uh, get together on our campus. Um, uh, we would like to have similar experiences that that team had in 1976. Boy, what a special year the bicentennial year was for Oklahoma State University. Some final thoughts with the coach when the Les Miles Show continues after this. Stay with us. Welcome back. Texas this week in Stillwater. Coach, what do you think? After a tough loss, this team will prepare hard and we look very much forward to playing Texas. And remember, different game time in Stillwater coming up for the Texas game, 1130 kickoff on Lewis Field. We hope to see you there. We'll have highlights of that game on our next edition of the Les Miles Show. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next week.